Aaron Todrin here, Second Wind Consultants. I'm here with Rob Baines of the, uh, the Strong Oak Group, um, TMA Distressed Investor Conference 2019. Rob, how you doing? Good, thanks for having me. Great, so uh, with your clients, uh, is it um, management consulting fixing the problems or is it transactional based and uh, kind of a liquidating sense? So it's uh, a multifaceted, that's why I love this business. There's yeah. no case that's the same. Sometimes it's retrenchment, um, increasing profits. Sometimes it's, hey, we can't pay our bills. Sometimes, you know, and we're working on a deal right now, we're actually liquidating and unfortunately uh, putting a proper tombstone and burial for the business. So. Right, right, and, and for that business, for example, what, what sorts of problems are you encountering? You know, you always got the macro market conditions and the economics, sure. but this, you know, uh, Undoubtedly, assets were purchased. Um, there were some fiscal errors, over leveraged, and um, you know these guys owed a lot of money that uh, they couldn't pay. Yeah, I guess that is the nature of distressed investing. There are so many companies out there that have great core operations, great viability underneath, but they find themselves with horrible capital structures and uh, debt service that they can no longer support. I feel like it's our job as, as turnaround management consulting um, professionals to extract that value for the benefit of the business, the benefit of the employees. Very everything. true. Yeah. Uh, how's your conference been going? Good. Meeting a lot of uh, capital providers, which is great for us as consultants. and. Um, because you never know, it's almost a dating game. You know, a lot of people have different uh, sizes of businesses, different sectors they're focused on, and um, you know, it is essentially you're getting married with that equity investor or that debtor in some way. Yeah, um, and it's when true. the divorce happens in this business, it can get ugly. Oh yeah, when you get engaged with a client and there is that viability there, um, how do you address uh, subordinate creditors? What, what, what do you do? Do you do you employ bankruptcy? Do you? Uh, Assignment for the benefit of creditors. What, what what exactly is your general strategy for subordinate creditors? So when? yeah, always going with the uh, general counsel, and um, you know, what's their guide on how to do that? You know, if secured's been taken care of, whether they're in or out of the equity, you've got a lot of money you owe to folks, and right. um, you know, what's the most ethical thing to do in this situation? Um, you know, some of these are post judgments we look at. Some of them are pre judgments. Right. And if you're a Fortune 500 company, and you owe this. You know, if these guys owe us seven thousand dollars. Okay, it might not be a big deal, but if you're a small family-owned business and these guys owe you one hundred fifty thousand dollars, the economics of that are a lot different. That goes right. to someone's payroll. You know, so it's, it's, uh, it really depends. Do you find that in those situations, the creditors um, are willing to take a haircut uh, to preserve the business, or they, do they want to? bleed the business dry and get every last dime that they can regardless of what happens. Both. And the whole spectrum in between. Some of them understand the situation. Right. Hey, the business is being liquidated. Are you willing to take a haircut on this? Yeah, just you know, give us what you can for payment. And some of them are, hey, and these are law firms, you know, hey, our client wants every penny that they're owed, plus interest. Yeah, um, absolutely. So when you look at the financials, you're like, well, this money doesn't just pop out of nowhere here. So. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's true. Uh, subordinate creditors sometimes make uh, transactions and restructuring and, and turnaround managing very difficult because they just don't care about the livelihood of the business or the jobs or anything and they just want to get paid. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I think that that's, uh, that's short-sighted. Um, they could maximize their return if they work with the business in the long run. Sure. Cool, Rob. Well, uh, thanks for chatting. And, uh, yeah, I hope you thanks have a great, for having me. I hope you have a great conference. Appreciate it.